get in my truck. Is it plastic? No, it's metal. Oh, looks even electrical. Bro, this thing's heavy. No, no battery in it. That thing looks cool. And it even has a seat to it. Was it even ever used? It looks never used. Look at that. Huh. Wow. This thing looks brand spanking new. Accelerator. Yeah, it is brand new. Look at the tires. You can tell it's never been ridden because the tires still have the little um, molding pieces to it. Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Ooh, it's early and these trains are loud. Yeah. So I'm going to take this load over to the scrap yard. Hey, lightning bug. What's up, lightning bug? Yeah. You're out a little late. You need to go home. Oh, train's put on the brakes. wild right when I'm doing my intro ready for the break it's silent <laughs> all right our journey's gonna start right now all right so headed to the scrapyard it's uh, 7 16 in the morning and I got that really cool low voice it's uh 7 16 in the morning in bright sunny DeKalb Illinois yeah uh-oh <laughs> the train ain't moving all right I guess I'm gonna go yeah so let's see the train how slow it's going well, at least there's a truck block in the road up here. Yeah. Trains and trucks and trucks and trains. Oh, and this guy's in a parallel park now. All right. <laughs> a little sarcasm in the morning. Yes. All right, just pulled into DeKalb Iron and Metal and it's 3,900 pounds. So I'm guessing 200 pounds of of shred so I'm in my happy place All right, so we're 39 coming in. I can't. I should say. 36.80 going out. Um, yeah, fourteen dollars and eighty-five cents, and it was 220 pounds at 135 dollars a net ton, or 2,000 pounds a ton. So basically, what I do is I should reverse this math here just to see if if I take 2,000 or if I take $135 and I divide it up by 2,000 parts, you know, for, for, for the pound, I wonder if that's the best way to calculate this. Hmm. I'm going to go mess with a calculator just to make sure that I get my conversions and stuff proper. All right, time to go take the daughter to the school. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so my daughter is at school right now, and now is the time that I'm spending to edit yesterday's video. So I have the Wondershare program. And I'm just going through here and, and seeing, so I actually do all the video first. And then once I'm done with that, then I look and see, okay, what kind of songs do I want to put in there? Do I want to put a Sanford and Son theme <laughs> somewhere? Um, you know, how do I pick 
the right uh, clip for the very beginning portion. Bummer, man. All right, so I got $6.75. Yes. All right, I just got a text from my church that they have some scrap for me. So let's go pick it up. Not sure how long it'll last, but I was thinking a little scrap metal thing. Yeah. How's that? Does that look okay? Okay, so I got the scrap. So it's in the back of the truck. So yeah. Good morning. It is five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So there wasn't that much footage for yesterday. So I'm just gonna combine that with today's footage because I'm gonna go run over. There's two garbage days. Um, DC Trash has a garbage day over in the Sycamore or Cortland area, and then the whole south part of DeKalb is garbage day. Yeah, I'm such a morning person. Man, I'm excited about this. Oh, I see full moon. Yes. Oop, I'm already seeing mosquitoes coming after me. Mosquitoes are like, good morning. Breakfast. And the first thing I see this morning is a chair. Is there rust? Yep, there's rust. All right, so that means it's iron. Do some double checking here. With my magnet. Yep. All right. Got map my ride going, so I don't get lost. Looks like antenna for a TV. I'm not sure. Not sure what this is. is that plastic. I'm not sure, but it's a big tangled mess I can already tell. That's a nice picket fence. I like it. Nice hunk of aluminum, probably. Yep. Definitely aluminum. So, in my area, in DeKalb, uh, Waste Management just lost their contract that they've had for 25 years with the city of DeKalb. And they're going to be going with these guys. Uh, DC Trash, and I think DC Trash is owned by another company. But, yeah. One of the prime arguments that waste management had with having their contract staying uh, with DeKalb was if it's not broke don't fix it if if we've had the contract for 25 years why change um, uh, tackle box you guys see that and they're like basically like, you know why change and I thought that was such an incredibly stale argument is that is that Joe? Oh, it's just the plastic, isn't it? <laughs> Said three dollars for a yard sale. Looks like yeah, there's nothing in there. So, I uh, you know, oh, looks like there's a rabbit having some breakfast. <laughs> I'm sure, the gardener is not going to be too excited about that. So yeah, I'm. I'm surprised that they would even say that, you know, it's, it's like, you know, when I was working as a, as a product manager, um, at my last job, you know, if I would have said something like, you know, oh, well, this is the way we've always done it. Well, why, why are we going to change or improve or, uh, you know, what, 
what's the point let's just we fill out form a we take form a over to cubicle one and that person plugs the information into the computer and then the form goes into my inbox and then we file it that's just the way we do it why change <laughs> you know that that would not fly no way because all of us are supposed to be in continually um, at least in the corporate world to be just doing a better job at what we're supposed to be doing you know it's like my videos you know trying to be a little bit better you know, have the, the next video a little bit better than the last video that might be the tallest shelf I've ever seen in a trash <clears throat> what do you think Wow okay get in my truck it's been sitting around for a while too I don't know it might have been a shelf hmm all right literally two houses down from this huge thing I'll bet these are aluminum all right let's check it all right magnet don't stick yeah that's a good find right there good morning that's a good find get in my truck i said get in my truck all right now how best Place these guys. Yeah. Got some aluminum. aluminum. <laughs> it's already full. I'm scrapping around here, and there's a lady riding a bicycle for exercise, and I just feel creepy because every time I stop, you know, she comes rolling around. It's like, ah, I'm not a creep, I'm just scrapping. Yes. I think this is stainless. now that's what I meant to do the struggle is real trailer with some sides on it little bitty baby chair that's surprisingly heavy and I see a bunch of yummy right there Just 
tent poles, I'm not sure. <laughs> Didn't actually mean to grab that wood thing. Not sure why I did. What do we have going on here? Sides upside down. Yep. Bunch of steel poles. You know, I'm gonna leave them in the bag. Just for mess management. Whoa, wait. What's happening? This is filling up quick. I've been scrapping for what, 45 minutes? I have a feeling that there isn't any other scrappers out. Yeah, there's just indications like this. And I can tell with the condensation that this has been out all night. So I think there's been no scrappers in my area out running around. Funny, Matt My Right says this is a neighborhood. Uh um Yeah, not fully developed yet. Alright. <laughs> Corn's getting tall though. Wow. That's five feet tall. Now that looks like it's out for garbage, but that's far away. <laughs> enough to where I am not touching it. Nope. Man, it is a nice morning. Mosquitoes are quite aggressive. Yeah, they are. I had someone ask me, they said, what's the point in this map my ride? I don't see the point in it. And the only point in it like a little something there but it's just a anti get lost tool that's all it is really what is going on here oh it's like a weed eater only smaller how cute all right what are the goodies you got for me Yes, I'll take it. What might this be? Oh, whatever it is, it's heavy. I have no clue what this is. I have no clue. I don't know if it's metal or not. My snippers. Morning, family. Cool. Six o'clock in the morning and they're out riding bicycles. That's some good stuff right there. Just saying. So regarding map my ride, I would have been positive I'd been through this little piece of the neighborhood, but I haven't. I've had this on the whole time. So it's showing me where I have been and where I haven't been. You know, and sometimes I get my days mixed up, you know. It's like I was just here last week, obviously. Um, so, yeah, it just assists with my brain. Look at that big screen TV. That's nice. Quite nice. 
Right, how's this thing fold up? I don't even know. Look at these chairs. It's a morning of the chairs. I don't want this thing falling out though. Is it just rusted? What's going on here? Is there a notch? Undo it? It has to be a folding chair. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. What is going on over here? You guys see metal? I see metal. Alright, now that I've made some room. Pipes in. Porch swing. A lot of times I just go by the sound of a bag. You can kind of see through those, but. <sighs> All right, that was a good stop. Oh, I think there was some more stuff over here. <laughs> and no, that basketball is not garbage. Scrapyard opens up in about 15 minutes or so. So I probably should wrap up this leg of my scrapping. I think I'm gonna go to my storage unit, drop off the aluminum and other stuff, and then just do a steel run. And then do, I don't know if I wanna do a wire run, of all my wire and stuff, or go scrap on the south side of DeKalb. Hmm. What do you guys think? Does this feel awkward to you? It's like I'm literally driving in their backyard. <laughs> I think there's a road right through their backyard. <laughs> yeah, there's some dumpsters that we've been through. And a few people have been asking about Rick. They're all, where's Rick? Where's Rick? And I'm like, oh, Paul's here. <laughs> Rick is at work. Yes, he has the job. He has jobs, multiple, and he just goes on scrap and runs for the fun of it with me, because it's fun, you know, and plus we get to talk about Jesus, and we get to, you know, hang out, I mean, we've been friends for 11 years now, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> and I accept him for who he is, he accepts me for all my quirks, you know, it's a pretty cool thing. When you have a friend that just accepts you for all of your weirdness, you know, and some of it's weird. Um, there's, I, I know that I have some weirdness that a lot of people is like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, so accepting one another is a pretty cool thing. 
Okay, so I just um, uh, pressed stop on Map My Ride, the, uh, the app, and it says I've gone 11.38 miles through those neighborhoods. And it says a duration of 52 minutes, and I just figure out what the issue is, is that Map My Ride only counts when I'm moving. So I have 52 minutes of driving, so the other, uh, the other hour, because it's 7 o'clock right now, or almost 7, the other hour was me stopped doing something. Pulling up at the Calb Iron and Metal, and 3,940 pounds. All right, we'll see how much we get. That's cool. That guy helped me unload. Usually they don't help unload here. But I'm cool with that. Cool with them helping, cool with them not helping. Well, it's all good. It's all good. All right, see, let's see what we weigh. I can't, I can't see. 3660. Let's go get some money. That thing barely fits. That truck barely fits. Got <laughs> a little bit of room on the back. <laughs> like four inches. <laughs> okay, so it's still $135 a net ton, so 6.75 cents per pound, and that's how they actually calculate it. I did the math backwards just to make sure that that's it, and that's how it, it works. Why in the way with this truck? Hold on. And so I got seventeen dollars and fifty-five cents for two hundred and sixty pounds of of shred appliance shred scrap. So I kept the aluminum chairs. I kept the other aluminum and the wire. So I still have that stuff, and I'm, I'm just kind of letting that stuff pile up. You know, just like my wire. So I'm not sure if I want to do a wire run. I don't know. You know what? Let's go do some more scrapping. Yeah. All right. Just went to my house and dropped off some of the aluminum and things like that. So got me an empty truck. Yeah. Let's go take care of that issue. Get to fill it up. Yep. I'm wondering if scrappers have already been through here because it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Friday. But this is also an indication that scrappers have not been by. But you know, scrappers, they, uh, we're all scrapping for different stuff. So some scrappers would pass this by. They don't want to fill up their truck with stuff that doesn't. Huh. What's over here? Yeah, they don't want to fill up their truck with stuff that, um, you know, is lower value. You know, and I get that or pass you know sometimes they're driving in a car or whatever you know a lot of people will say you know in comments and you know paul you need a bigger truck and it's counterintuitive actually the smaller the smaller vehicle i mean like look at, at scrap vulture you know he's driving around in a motorcycle um getting uh scrap and he's even downsized even more and that guy's efficient I think we would all be surprised if we knew exactly how much money he makes in a month or in a year. And it's like my truck. My truck has four cylinders, not eight, like a bigger truck, which is even heavier. That's wasting more gas. And so a lot of people was like, hey, you know, you need a bigger truck. You need a trailer. And, and I get that. I mean, I think I would like a trailer, but a trailer would be used in specific. What is this? Ah, oh, a little bit of art, I think. Thank you for your service and best of luck to all employees. All right, so we had some uh, um, well wishes for waste management because they lost their contract here in DeKalb. So yeah, that's sweet. 
So anyway, do I want a bigger truck? Uh, kind of, at times I do. Um, but I don't want to waste the money. And that's part of the secret to my success in scrapping and in life right now is because my, my bills are so low. And that's part of the reason why I don't respond a lot of times when people's like, man, you need a bigger truck, you need a trailer, you need uh, this, you need to that. Because if, if some of these suggestions were actually done, it would put me out of my scrapping business. I, I, would, I would go broke. Yep. Uh, that has window problems written all over it. All right. Yeah. So, you know, and you know, a, lot of, a lot of folks are like, you know, you need, to, you need to strip all of your wire. You need to, um, you know, you need to micro scrap right down to the, and so thinking that tape all the way through, let's say I take two hours and strip a bunch of wire. I wouldn't have time to spend two hours to edit and create the video. So, okay, so do I really take that video that I would have made and throw it away? just to micro scrap something to get an extra ten dollars yeah okay and let's say i we do that tape even farther i would if i would take those suggestions i would have to not have a youtube channel N no one would watch any of these videos and i would just be doing ten dollar an hour work that's not fulfilling making videos is a blast communicating talking meeting folks like you that's what it's all about and some people would say you know paul why don't you do both why don't you make the videos and make um you know and do the micro scrapping you can do both it's like okay so let's say i, I do two hours of micro scrapping and i do the two hours of making the videos now in instead of what i was going to be doing which was spend time with my kids or with some family or practice songs for playing in the church, I would have to not do one of those, okay? So I would have to substitute um, now <laughs> by making the video, I'd have to not spend time with my kids or my family. I thought it was metal. So hopefully that makes sense that the, there's reasons why, because I have little chunks of time that I can do certain things. And I'm, I'm not <clears throat> scrapping eight hours a day. I can only imagine someone that, good morning. I can only imagine if someone is micro scrapping, um, or not my, if someone's actually scrapping eight hours a day or full time, woo. And yeah, I would not suggest scrapping the way I scrap if you're using that as your primary source of income. No way. This is not the way to do it. What's that? It's a neat pile of trash. So to wrap up my thoughts on, on the scrapping, you know, if I was to have this as my primary source of income, that it would, I would scrap differently. Um, but as you can tell, I get, there's a creative aspect of being a person that makes videos. And that is really fun for me. The social aspect of interacting with you folks is super, I mean, beyond fulfilling. I mean, we talk about Jesus, we talk about life, we talk about all kinds of stuff. You know, I'm, I'm making friends that are, you know, outside of my normal life, you know, with you guys. That's huge, humongous. So that's, that's why I do this. You know, this is really fun. You know, and, and you know, finding things is fun too. But I'm not money driven in my life and I'm I'm and I'm not. Things always just work out. You know, and sometimes it, it's okay to actually not have something. You know, so I don't need to be striving to always make that money because you know a lot of times the stuff that I actually do buy with the money that I'm striving to make it turned out to be lame, you know, or, you know, I'm trying to use that thing to make me happy or be fulfilling or whatever. Down there. All right. Insect mosquito repellent. Yes. Zika virus, dengue virus, West Nile virus. All right. 
Now I got shiny arms. <laughs> All right, let's go get this piece of scrap that was screaming at me. Come get me. Get in my truck. Is it plastic? No, it's metal. Oh, it's even electrical. Oh, this thing's heavy. Nope, no battery in it. That thing looks cool. And it even has a seat to it. Was it even ever used? It looks never used. Look at that. Huh. Wow. This thing looks brand spanking new. Accelerator. Yeah, it is brand new. Look at the tires. You can tell it's never been ridden because the tires still have the little um, molding pieces to it. This thing has never been used. Oh, it looks like it's been destroyed, but not used. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go right there. Hey, there's a mosquito. Hey, it went right past me. You see that? All right. Yeah, not sure why this was taken apart and but the battery's not in it. Let's see if the battery's over here. It was in the recycle bin too. Nope, not messing with that. It's heavy kitchen trash. Well, they got everything right. Everything else right with the recycle bin. The aluminum cans, consumer plastic, cardboard. Yeah. There's another piece to that little mini bike thing. I just don't see any batteries. Let's see if a scrapper's been here or not. Yes. There's a missing cord. Wait a minute. What's going on here? We'll take this. Let's grab here. It's cool with that. Nice garbage can. I bet it's full of ashes. Yep. That's plastic. Okay. All right. What do we got going on here? I see a house plant. Yes. Little bit of metal. Now this actually looks perfectly good. Oh, that's not. Oh. See, I could use that for like my printer and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna take it. What else we got going on here? That plant is calling my name. Bunch of VHS tapes. What's up, Mr. Plant? How you doing? You wanna go home with me? You do? Okay. It's still in his wrapping. There's even instructions on the inside. All right, you're coming with me, Mr. Plant. His name is Robert. Robert Plant. Dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun da dun da 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 da. Ah! Oh, you're fired, Paul. What else we got going on here? Any metal? All right, here no metal. Oh. Is that poopy? Dead batteries, okay. Yeah. So here, 
you say put your batteries separate and they'll come get them all right looked like there was some stuff here Hmm. There are some interesting sounds. Ooh. What are these? It's for a game, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, I didn't pop a very big hole in that, so it's not going to be splashing all over the place. And I'm not sure if this is the coax that has steel or copper. It's probably steel. But I like it. All right, do some work here. Ooh, I see a case. All right, there's all kinds of stuff here. Little skateboard. Yeah, that's going to get donated. these books these are all kids books you know what I'm gonna start a donation bin this will be donation right here so I think this will work out just fine at the Salvation Army these kids books my working mom by Peter Glassman illustrated by Ted Arnold Look at all those mason jars. That's definitely recyclable. Christmas lights all day long. Actually, because the um, actually, the Goodwill is not very far from here. Actually, that's right next to where I bought that deep woods off. The spider and the fly. Oh, the pets you can get. I've never seen that one. A lot of Arthur. Arthur was popular when my daughter was a little kid. <clears throat> Including the skateboard. Yep. There's four baskets. I bet someone would want those. Should that be donated too? I think so. A lot of files. Usually files are personal stuff. Oh, I guess they're not. I guess it's kids stuff. What is that? Erasers? No. Little bins. How about these? Are donatable too. Yeah, this is going in the donation bin. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna dig through all of this. This is just so much stuff. It's like a school teacher. That makes me sad seeing memories getting tossed. This little box. Another little memory box. I like it though. Yeah, Salvation Army. Or Goodwill. I know Goodwill is for profit. And Salvation Army and the rescue mission, those types aren't, but, wow, now that's a bunch of personal stuff in there, I'm not messing with that, man, yeah, there's a ton of stuff here, I'm just going to do a quick peek, not going to make a big hole here, but that case is going with me. doubt about it oh yeah put some music stuff in there 
Indubitably. Rah. Oh yeah, you're going with me. That's going with me. What else is there? And this is why I poke holes in it so I can see. Whatever this was, it was never used. What is it? Just a box. It's a wall cube. All right, wall cube, you're going with me. Yeah, a wall cube, okay. Whoa, that thing's crazy heavy. Hey, it's another wall cube, picture cube thing. frames and what is this thing? Is that metal? I bet it is. Hmm. Feels metal. Nope, oh, it's ceramic. Made in China, cracker barrel, or crate and barrel. Cracker barrel. Man, it feels metal. Yeah, I don't want to grab a bunch of stuff that's just gonna hang around my house. Yeah, how about if I donate it? This looks like actually not a bad bike. Yes, the wheel should be attached, but it doesn't look like it was a bad bike. What's going on here? What do you think? Is that a decent bike? Whew. That was heavy. I think my battery's running low because it started screaming at me. So I'm gonna probably wrap up this video. Just wanna praise God right now you are. Man, it is entirely too hot out here to be wearing a black shirt. Yeah, I had to go in and change. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a wire run in addition to falling over, in addition to uh, you know some of the shred. I'm gonna keep that black bicycle and I'm not sure what to do with that scooter, but I think I'm going to keep it because it's it's brand new. I mean, literally brand new. So, all right. We got to get to work.
this heat is making it hard for the wire to scrap itself. Oh, it doesn't scrap itself. I gotta, yeah, I gotta do some separating here. All right, so I'm just gonna do the household wire here. And yeah, I'm losing my enthusiasm. <laughs> This is so boring. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll fire the camera back up when, uh, when the boring part is over. Did I say this was boring yet? It's boring. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna turn in four things. I have just some regular old household wire. I have a bin of Christmas lights. I have one car battery, and then just some shred steel. That's gonna go. Yeah, so let's go ahead and turn this in and call it a day. I have some songs to practice for church tomorrow. <laughs> so this is the non-ferrous side, the uh, non-steel stuff. Uh, looks like we have a line. We're just thinking, if it's close to 100 degrees today, scrap. I just want to say that I'm proud of her. Yeah, she's, she's doing it. That's right. myself to get rid of that little bit of shred there so I'm, I weigh 3,760 pounds oh and by the way I have not cashed out yet but I got 24 pounds of insulated copper wire extension cords I got 36 pounds of insulated copper number three Christmas lights and then I got 32 pounds of a battery all right let's get rid of this couple pounds of steel So I was 37.80, was that right? When I was weighing heavy. Let's see what I'm weighing light. If I can even see over there. I can't even see. 3,700, I think. All 
right, let's go get some moolah. Money, 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 money. It wasn't a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. So I just want to thank God. You're amazing. That you should work all you know, all things work for your good. Even stuff that is irritating and doesn't make sense or even tragic. Love you, God. Amen. All right, let's talk about some prices. All right, so my shredder scrap uh, was only 80 pounds, so $5 for that. The battery was $8.96. I had 32 pounds at 28 cents per pound. The insulated copper wire was 45 cents a pound. At, uh, so we got $10.80 for that. The Christmas lights were 10 cents a pound. Boo. So I got $3.60 for those Christmas lights. Sometimes they're at 15 cents, sometimes they're at 20 cents. So right now they're at 10 cents a pound. Yeah. So for a total of $28.76. I'm still grateful, still had fun doing it, and hopefully you had fun watching. So I'll talk to you guys later. And just remember, let's make the rest of our lives the best of our lives.